I have this USB power supply which has one Qualcomm Quick Charge 2 compatible output port. None of my devices support QC2 protocol, so I decided to make this gadget which can be used to select the output voltage of QC2 compatible power supply. Here's the guide how to use the QC2 protocol. This was found on Texas Instruments app note which I will link on the description. First the device has to output 0.3 to 2 volts into the D plus line. Then power supply will discharge voltage at D- while the device leaves that pin disconnected. Then the device can output different voltages into D plus and D- to select the output voltage. Here's the table of those voltages that need to be outputted into the D plus and D- to select the 5 volts, 9 volts and 12 volts outputs. If the voltage at D plus goes below 0.3 volts, the output will go back to 5 volts and and shaking is required before the output voltage can be changed again. Here is the schematic of my gadget. On the left side there's illustration with the jumpers labeled as J1, J2 and J3. The J1 connects D- line into output of this voltage divider which divides 3.3 volts from the regulator down to 1.1 volts. When J1 isn't connected the D- will not be connected to anything. There's another similar voltage divider for the D plus line and the jumper for it is J2. When it's not connected, D plus isn't connected to anything on the device. When it is connected and the J3 is disconnected, the voltage at the D plus will be 1.1 volts. But if it is connected and the J3 is also connected, the voltage on the D plus will be above 2 volts. I'm too lazy to calculate the actual voltage, but like you can see on this table, it's enough if it is above 2 volts. Here's the circuit powered up. The voltage is 5 volts, like it is by default. Then I use one jumper to connect the D plus to the voltage divider, which gives 1.1 volts. Then I connect another jumper to connect the D minus to another voltage divider which also gives 1.1 volt and the output will be 12 volts. Then I connect the J3 which makes the output voltage to become 9 volts. Removing that makes the output become 12 volts again. But if I disconnect D plus from the voltage divider, the output becomes 5 volts and won't go back up even after reconnecting the D plus because the handshaking is required again after the D plus voltage goes below 0.3 volts. Here I'm doing the handshaking again and I connected J3 before connecting the D minus and like you can see we can go straight from the 5 volts to 9 volts without going to 12 volts first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and leave a comment.